Over 250 companies took part in the Cybex 2010 data loss survey, with 24% of responding firms employing between 500 and 10,000 people, while 13% of companies have 10,000 plus people on their payroll. To indulge more in the survey findings, I have Ilza Dewing, Business Development Director of Cybex. Ilza, welcome to Tech Direct. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Darren. Thanks for the invitation. I think give us some background information to the survey and some of the findings that came out of that. Well, Darren, we know that users store their information on their desktops and notebooks and not on servers as many companies uh, suspect they do. And we just wanted to find out whether companies out there are aware of this risk and what they're doing to address the risk and what they think is necessary in order to, to address this risk. Now, some of the, the, the companies that were involved in the surveys were the financial institutions, the insurance companies, etc. Do you believe that they're at more risk than any other organization or in sector of business? In fact, I don't think they're more at risk. I think they just, it's more, um, uh, they're more aware of it because of all the, all the, of all the co corporate governance around their businesses and how they manage their businesses. What would you say is the, the biggest threat to a company and their backup policies? The biggest risk really is ignorance and that companies don't consider it a risk. They think it's just something that may happen, they may lose data. It's not an imperative and therefore they don't address it. And really you should and you are able to address it with certain systems. So I think that companies should consider planning for it instead of just leaving it for one day. So we need to install proper backup policies for the companies? Certainly, you need to plan for it, you need to budget for it, and you need to address it. I, I think it's a little bit too late when you've, you've lost everything that you've backed <coughs> up and you pick up the phone and call IT to try and help you and it's gone. So, so how can we move forward from then and should it be a management level or at an IT department level? Darren, I think it should be at executive level. I think that directors are as much at risk of losing their data as um, the, the office worker is. And in fact, um, directors are more expensive to the company and therefore the loss of their data costs the company more from a reputation as well as from an operational perspective. And always the guy who ends up with the baby is, is the, the IT department. And therefore I think executives should plan for it and they should give their IT departments instruction to. Uh, investigate what the correct solutions are, they must find th something that's centrally managed and can be deployed to the entire organization and they must budget for it. Now there's obviously another factor at play here. We're not tied down to our desks like we were in the past anymore and to our desktops. We've got smartphones, we're on laptops, etc. So that adds a, no, another whole dimension to, to data backup, doesn't Ab it? Absolutely. We're finding that office space is expensive, you know, there's traffic, so more and more people are working from home. Executives especially are often flying from place to place, and therefore your data is becoming mobile. And, and more often than not, the people who are traveling are the most expensive resources to the company. And therefore, yes, you're quite right. Mobility is becoming a, a, a big factor. Do you believe it? Which one is better? Data backup on house, on site, or off site at a facility, at a, at a telco, for example, who can back up on a regular basis and the company merely pays them a monthly fee? Well, what would you suggest? Well, Darren, the difficulty with trying to back up off site is that you, in South Africa specifically, we have bandwidth constraints. And in order to pass the or transfer the amount of data that companies need to transfer, and you know, next year, or in the next five years, there will be a 650% increase in the amount of data generated within companies. Therefore, it makes it actually impossible to back up off-site. So my recommendation is to back up on-site at your various uh, sites where there is bandwidth and then to replicate off-site perhaps. Mm. But it must be centrally managed and it must be centrally configured and deployed. That's the sort of solution I would suggest. Give us some insights into Cybex and, and why create a survey like this? Darren, Cybex is an automated desktop and notebook backup solution. It's a software solution and it has enterprise tools involved like uh, central configuration, central reporting. And for our purposes, we just wanted to understand whether companies are aware that user data is at risk, whether they're addressing it and how they're addressing it so that we can share that information with our customers and our prospective customers and so that we can create a bit of market awareness around this risk. And, and the need for a survey like this? Well, simply put, we, we wanted to find out what our market is looking for and mm. we wanted to give them information in order to them assist them with making decisions and planning for, for uh, prospective 
Dyson Loss Events. Mm. Ilza Dream, Business Development Director at Cybex. Thanks for joining us on Tech at Work.